We're here with Patrick Paulin. Hello. Hello. Diana Negra, tell us a little bit about uh, this wine estate. Yes, it's uh, relatively new. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, building actually, is, it's finished in 2007. And uh, we actually produce sort of uh, mainly two different ra range of wines. Uh, the first, uh, let's say, uh, type of wine is the uh, Randemar. Yeah. They're very uh, easy going wines, they're a bit cheaper as well. And uh, for example, the Blanc de Blanc here is typical, easy, fresh, with a lot of crisp uh, white wine, a typical wine from here from the region. The rosé as well, nice fruit, easy. And uh, the red uh, Randemar is a wine actually with absolutely no oak. But okay. we prefer to produce more freshness, actually, what you need is um, more fruit right. and, and a yeah. slight acidity. Okay. We produce our olive oil as well. Okay. okay. Yeah. And which is, uh, comes with the Imlasun uh, from Mallorca. Okay. And it's a very smooth olive oil. That mainly it comes from the type of olives we use, which is the Arvikina. Okay. Which has two main characteristics, which is very fruity and very mellow, let's say. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have, we have uh, our, uh, let's say, most uh, known uh, range, which has the Cisnines, which actually that comes from the family. Uh, which, because the old project is actually a family project, yeah. although it's quite big. Yeah. And um, we have first the white wine. We only reach, we produce around 4,000 bottles of this year. It's uh, nearly the same as the first Randemar, but with a bit of oak. Uh, so we had a bit more complexity, more to eat actually with nice gastronomic uh, fish, for example, or in mm. the oven. Uh, we have as well the rosé, has a little bit of oak too. Uh, maybe 3,500 bottles, hardly anything. And then we have re, maybe the most important wine of uh, the whole bodega, uh, which is the Cisnes Red, which actually in production is the half of the whole production. Uh, just a little uh, for you to know, we produce around 135,000 bottles. Okay. Although mm -hmm. actually everything has been built to actually be able to produce around 450,000 a year. And then uh, we go to, towards the uh, Selection, uh, 2008. These are uh, 3,800 bottles, and in five months we sold them all out. Oh, wow. Yes. People uh, liked it, did they? Yeah, yeah, although it's a bit more expensive than the Cisninus uh, normal. Yes. Uh, which uh, Cisninus normal is not a Crianza, but from its style, it's maybe a real typical Crianza from uh, here from Inisayan. Yeah. Then we have a nice uh, sweet wine as well. As well, here yeah, we are talking about 900 bottles. Uh, it's mainly uh, it's a blend made of uh, Moscatel and uh, Brenzai, which is a local yeah. grape. Yes, it's not so usual. Yeah. And, and then we have the last baby. Yes, mm -hmm. this is Tiana, which is actually in the same name as the wine cellar Tiana Negri. So this one has been has just come out. It's uh, we're launching it officially in uh, May 2010. Okay. Okay. It's uh, first. It's the most expensive wine from this wine cellar. And uh, the big difference is that this wine actually stayed one year in new oak. And it's a very expressive wine with much more body. And uh, I think even in the last uh, two years it's going to have a magnificent, uh, let's say, the roping in the bottle. Okay, and what's, what's the, uh, the grape that is used for Diana? Mainly, uh, here in Bini Salem, you should know that we are, anyway, we need to absolutely use 50% of Mantonero in the red wines. Mm -hmm. The rest then, uh, we use always uh, some Mantone, uh, some, sorry, some Cayet, Cabernet as well, and we have Merlot as well. Right, and so then it depends on the years we put Syrah as well. So it's uh, it ex actually each, each vintage tells us what we have to do. Okay, and the Mantone and the Cayet are yes. native grapes. Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. Well, Patrick, thank you very much. And You're uh, we hope to try the new Tiana very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.